Smithy under a little bit of pressure. It looks like he's got a friend here to help him. Kellogg's freshly returning to the roster already. Looking pretty good. And you can see him here taking kicks out and just retreating from the side. Yeah, this is, this is where we almost expect him to shine. Just up against the opposition where realistically he should be the best individual player in the server. I'm also sort of looking at Meadow as well. He had a, a rough time in the previous qualifier and I, I think there's a lot more to show. Robbie, tough situation to try and bring back a 1v5 in the first round. He's at least going to give himself a, a couple of extra kills and a... Yeah, not, not even having any proper ults online either. That's actually a little bit close. Like, uh, Kellogg's almost wins that initial duel. Instead, it's going to go over to Hoodie. The rest of the team have also pushed up. But, well, I was going to say it's being watched. However, fight. Instead, they're going to run that clock down, harass as much as they can, and then regroup with their full forces, catching anyone that can't make it away in time. And that's where Radsky falls. This is looking incredible for a very weak bonus round coming out of G2. Only one rifle to play with. And they're now in a three versus two retake. Looking to deal with Robbie on the back of Yellow. They know Kicks is close. And it's all on to Robbie. He's dancing around the back of Yellow. Shuck darting out, trying to distract and delay as long as he can. And it looks like he might just do it. This clock quite low, and he connects. Number themselves up. See what can be done. A lot of defender utility down here from G2. Piper Util slowing. Human tripwires just for a moment. Getting get this into an after farm without too much trouble. Flank not really possible at this stage. It's already being watched. It's just going to be a retake from one angle. I say that, Mo. New kid comes back a little bit angry after the last round. You don't tactical crouch on this man without being punished. And three kills already in the retake. Decent position for Robbie, though. And he strikes back alongside jo well, It was a tight previous round. The back was against them. Get that spike plant down at the very least. And they've got that Hunter's Fury for post plan, so maybe it can wreak some havoc of their own, but that's provided that Robbie stays alive. He's got two players about to peek on into him. He's been spotted. Now he's in a lot of trouble. The Rez gonna be forced out. Robbie deals with the first, but then gets dropped. A long range sheriff shot. And on that, the rest of the team rallies forward, hoping that these attackers would be distracted, but they're not. Oh, they are still crazy. Favorite rather than underdog. If I'm a favorite in a matchup, Overdog. I don't really want to be playing Icebox. Uh, that that's normally my do that kind of damage. Yeah, I'm not gonna question it. There is a res for G2 though. He doesn't have dash. I was about to say that is a that is a bold swing. I guess it was just to try and deny anybody peeking onto that res. But with how many players around that corner, I was thinking Kellogg's might be dead here. They haven't spotted a Vova. They've got the shock darts coming through. He'll be able to drop one, but the swing across from kicks is enough. Still though, the trade's going back this time in G2's favor, and the last man left Evo. In fact, he's going to go back in and try and fight for more. Finally, landing a shot, but he is screwed. Good trade out coming in from HTW. And they've got some control as well. John being able to catch up the rotation. This is a great round so far, but still a workable position for G2. Uh, it is semi workable. Yeah, they got to fight back in out of ammo. Radsky's able to get a triple. Anuki is left alone, dealt with. If you're performing well on the attacking side of Icebox, I'm going to take that with a pinch of salt. Sure, this is. Well, I mean, really, you're set up for success to start out this series to get the confidence game rolling. A bit of a problem here. You, you got to hunt up aggressively if you're the Rainer right now. I'm going to be copping that lockdown on the way on out. There's the detain. There's plenty of players to cover with Kellogg's being caught up above. Two versus four, but no spot two. Then, then, I, then that doesn't count. If, if it's like decent way through the season, oh no, then, I, then I'm interested. Oh. Uh oh, this has got a little bit shaky. It's come down to a one v one scenario. Meadow catches a couple of players, right place, right time, and now it's onto Hoodie. I said he'd been the rock for this team so far throughout the qualifier. He's going to be facing off against Robbie on the other side, trying to bait him in with the. Ice will there. The thing is, though, Hoodie Ten doesn't really left. need to take too much of a risk in this scenario, and eventually it's just going to go up over the top. Uh, qualifiers, they're straight out. If they lose twice in the close quarter, they're also out, and then they have to go into. Uh, I, I wanted to see this more of a dominant performance. That's why it's been anything but, and they keep getting caught. In not sure they can't get aggressive. Uh, they're playing this methodically as well. Like it's not just a. Like, they, like we've sort of been reading in chat, like these these individual crazy players. Like there's some real structure to the way that this squad is playing. And while Vova 
Just look long on this, bro. He gets away with two. Oh dear, oh dear. Again, G2 have managed to pull around out of absolutely nothing into one that might just be possible. Devo, not in a bad spot, but the plant is not a great one to try and get into position. Kix is going to have to get aggressive. But although he'll any form of execution going in on the other Enemy side. And they know that this opposing side of A is locked down. Instead, the Viper's Pit actually going to be used just to try and get the plant in the first place. And Hoodie, well, he knows that taking a risk here could be worthwhile. Instead, he's caught. And while the trades are in favor of HDW, at least for now. It's Meadow with the Vandal. If he spans, he's dead. There's so many players here. They're ready. They're going to fire back somehow. In here. Those bullets just <laughs> haven't connected at all of Ova. It's returning fire as well. Everybody is uh, surviving on oh, that. Oh, no. Kick goes One down. A random remaining. spray. The bomb is good for two with it. Oh. Which is going to be used incredibly deep. Might be able to get them a slightly more aggressive plant. Although it's actually going to be in the default spot, which gives an opportunity here for Robbie to at least do a little bit of damage. Now, in these sort of rounds, any damage you can get with those shots, that's going to be huge. Although, looking across the, the G2 players, it doesn't look like they've lost any health whatsoever. This defense as well of this site is looking way more aggressive than you might normally expect. The wraparound already going to pick off another, and this could be the first foot in the grave. Robbie trying his best, but of over again. Sorry. <laughs> what? Someone said I've got to say it in Spanish, so... Uh... I'm in trouble. I'm not going to try no. that. We'll get Kakuka to do it later. <laughs> yeah. Is I in no doubt think that if, if we see Mexon another squad, I saw someone earlier say that if he went to Koi or someone like that, the, the man will try. He's got more experience than most people in the entirety of this game, in this game and in CS as well. Uh, this round is where I think we can pretty into the game. We haven't seen them just yet. G2 are having no problem. Closing this out here. GW picked this map. Yeah. You think G2 would choose to start attack? Yes. Okay. That's all I was asking. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, really confused where you're going with this. Well, I've said that three times. times. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know, but but I said it that way, and then you came back a different way, and I was like, I want to be sure there's not a misunderstanding here. <laughs> oh, God. Well. It's looking like they're at least going to get another round on the board. It's left on to Meadow. He's missed the timing a little bit on the clutch. Looking to try and find the player with the drone. But Robbie is going to drop. Depending on Icebox as well, though. Especially if he's got like a... Oh, oh my Ooh. god. Okay. I like the combo. A little Sage will boost. Kicks might be in trouble here. Is it whether they check with the drone! Oh, he catches the perfect timing! Oh, that was gorgeous. And now Kellogg's is the last man standing. Dead for sure. What a bit. Go again. Snake fight nicely positioned. Kicks is going to be in a lot of trouble here. They know he has to move out of that corner. And they're just spraying and shock darting. It's blowing at <laughs> everything. He is gone. Yeah, not the greatest of starts. Now, there is, again, there's still a res available. Radsky's actually playing aggro. This is like a duelist sage. We've gone back to the, the early beta days. Of just... Almost fighting for yourself. How does Robbie manage to correct and get that kill? These are now just battles that G2 are losing. Individual fights that, again, you'd be expecting them to win. And they're being taken downtown. Right? In this round, weaker weapons for G2. And Kellogg's will be caught. They're actually going to use the lockdown in this round. Now that they do have themselves a Viper's Pit. So that could be the reason that they're looking to try and use it here. Now for Kicks, you might be thinking, why is he getting so aggressive? But if, if he gets a kill, manages to dismiss, there's quite a lot he could have actually done in this round. And Radski, well, he's just been completely caught out as well. This is starting to get very problematic. A potential round victory for G2 when they only have SMGs in this round. You can see Radski speed up top. Nice recon going down. Not going to get a reveal out, though. Oh, oh, he's oh, caught oh, by oh, them. Oh, oh. Sniped by the shock darts of Nukia. Viper's Pit is going to be activated. They'll commit it all to this. John opens it up. But he already down. Evova as well. Under his fury committed. They're buying all the time they can. That's when Devil comes in. HDW might not be down and out just yet. The clock, it's going to be hard to fight against. The defuse already coming in. Now to swarm online. Trying to delay them. But Meadow needs to spray. And he'll connect. Stopping the defuse, it's halfway, but there's not enough time. Devo desperately gets on it. 
He's was... Mitch, man. Your, wow. your, every time, your audio is just so bad. <laughs> oh, dude, I, I, I swear to God, I lost audio altogether. I, I, I couldn't hear it anymore, but it is what it is. <laughs> just, just, you shout over your own volume, like, I just I can't hear it. Screw y'all, that was a sick clutch. They did great. I don't care if the time was that much of a factor or not. Down. They should not have gotten back into that one. That was incredible. Even the Hunter's Fury to fight against. And G2 have got to be kicking themselves now. That round was basically theirs. It was in that. the bag. But now it's a 2v1. It's so close to closing it out. Robbie's heard the reload. Heard the steps. He has all the info to play with. And that wall. It's going to break fairly soon. Start to see some cracks form. Yep. It's going to break right now. <laughs> no matter what you say. G2 could have closed this out a long, long time ago. But they've been fighting tooth and nail. Hello. Oh, that's unlucky! They peak. taking the run the attack side here. We got a push coming out towards the B site. Going to be a lot of control taken. Robbie up close, having a little bit of trouble running out of ammunition. That is a quick response from Hoodie. And he has just completely ruined that B site defense. It was looking good for the UK either, so he's going to be able to hold in that back corner. The sky of kicks will at least leave one blind and one. Here we go. These are the, the few stars that are remaining trying to clear out that back of sight. They've actually managed to get a couple of kills. Now the time is starting to tick at least a little bit of over while completely blind. Will manage to get himself to Meadow lurking within the nebula. He knows all he has to do right now is play on that clock. And while kicks had no choice but to attempt to stick, it would have to try and avoid it altogether. Not a bad call. He's about to have his recon back online, so they're avoiding it entirely. Kicks. Oh, he's good for two, but there's an answer back. G2 are on even footing again. Low HP on a couple of players. Nukia wants to make a statement here. That slow orb is a bit of a fake. He's up close. And although he delivers a headshot, Radsky's still alive. Spike needs to be planted. Devo still on the site. Has a chance to deny this. No one can stop him. But in fact, he's allowed it to go down. It doesn't matter. They've won the round anyways. Devo with the double HDW. Pick up their first. You want to fight it. Oh, there's 40 seconds left in this one. Wall about to go up. See this angle for Hoodie. He's not being offered any opportunities. John's taken down. Good return by Devil. He's not really going to be able to do much, and especially with that slow going down. There is just no point in risking it. The spray by Hoodie finally gets the reward, and now he's stunned in the open. Devil with another kill. The HDW are still very much alive on this retake. Oh, new one kid. He's going to turn it into a one versus one. Kids is going to find both. Another round on the board for HDW. Uh, the Sky. I, mean, I just think it's just going to be commitment to B. If Sky pushes up mid at this point, it's God tier flying timing. In fact, Robbie's just come in with a quick kill. And so too is Devo. Dash burned up, but they've gotten rid of the res on the other side. And they've got a five versus four. Yeah, they've still got two players within the site. As well, this time, normally. Uh, Killjoy plays a little bit further back. It, it may not even be the, the biggest factor here with Robbie still available on the Odin. And it, it looks like actually G2 might just save. Like two of the players are still sat outside the site with 15 seconds left. I think they're hoping that maybe Hoodie can find something. But it would have to be left. ridiculously fast. And, and yeah, it's just going to be a straight up save with 20 seconds left on the clock. Great hold coming through from HTW. And well, Hoodie's even going to go down at the end as well. Yeah, even going on to punish G2 a little further. Oh, back yet again. This is the side of the map that the defensive side really wants to be fighting on. They're going to get the opportunity by the looks of it. Oh, that's a great <laughs> shock dart. <laughs> oh, oh, he's going to go Oh, that's the off god as well. A few words to say about this game, thanks to the pause timer. <laughs> <laughs> big, big old, big old shame. Won't hear him in any clips. Five to two. I'm pretty strong on this HDW side so far. Oh no, Kellogg's! He hasn't checked the close corner. John managed to go completely undetected, but Evova recovers from that fumble so quickly. Down goes the cosmic divide. Nuke is gonna use this to just insert them, getting behind and taking the double. He knows exactly where the final player is as well. Great execution on the back of that cosmic divide. And a triple kill to close things out. Hunter's Fury up and online. Jeez. So that uh, if it was attempted to try and close and use in an afterplant, it's not going to be too helpful. Devo, though, has just been 
executed on the site. They've been pretty much pushing and pulling him the entire round and, well, attempting to try and close the door now, but Kicks is still going to be given some free roam. The problem is, if he goes down, this is already over. They need him to try and find a kill! And actually, New K now goes out without checking the corner. A few slip-ups. You know, when I look back at Valorant, I don't know, Ignition series, let's say. But uh, yeah, obviously things are a lot, lot better now. And it's really weird to think about the fact that in, I don't know. Uh-oh. Oh my God, they're meant to be on low. Still has his dash available as well. Didn't use it earlier, so he can still escape from this. He knows that one has crossed, and I think that's a 140 headshot from a Vova. The curse of the Phantom is actually going to end up in his demise. The tag is there. They know exactly his position. Still manages to get away with one, but with how low what, what we have now. That the side still though taking a lot of space i love this from hdw they're not a team that have come into this playing scared like they're then they're willing to take these fights and sure they're not going to work every single time in fact right now it's gone tits up i think is the way we'll put it they, they have lost themselves these jewels and i think they even know that robbie's going to be on the site as well so clearing him shouldn't be the biggest problem he does have an odin in the corner and you know what two from that position probably shouldn't have happened Again, Radski, we've seen him in these clutches already. I don't know if we'll expect another player to be through, and the timing from G2 is great. Very strong. Uh-oh, this could be troublesome. I think this is almost definitely a free kill to start things off in UK. Player's already in position, Mitch. Oh, John, he's inside the smoke, and uh -oh. there's one for him. Dancing past the bullets. Robbie on five health is in a lot of trouble. G2. 30 seconds left. One player down, but they're not behind by that much. But both have been spotted. Info there to play with. Cross being watched on mid already. Or G2 ready for this. They're already inside the smoke, inside the cloud burst, but not clearing the close left. Kellogg's is down. Flash is perfect. And Kicks oh, nice. just traces him right through the box. Minute on the clock left. Seen HDW start to push up on B now. Kellogg's not in an ideal range for his pistol, having to fight so close. The Devil's only 48 HP, one shot to the body, all that's needed. Kellogg's is quick to deliver, but now he's under pressure, reloading in the uh, open. How? They haven't taken him down. <laughs> how? how is Kellogg still up? He takes kicks before falling. A 2v2 emerges. Radsky getting aggressive, though. He's a playing around the smoke, fading them in. This is a chaotic push. For 20 seconds upwards, they've got players still to choke them on the side. HTW making quick work of them. Oh, the rifles wanted to stick together. They've done absolutely nothing. What a great round for the attack. And this what just happened? Gun here. Like is he going to get the stage an uphill battle for sure map three looks much more likely i've got your trail hdw straight up through mid those seekers giving everything away kellogg's is still good for one still fighting as well here comes the blade storm but he's dropped from behind radsky on the off angle doing the damage and giving the advantage to hdw tucked in the corner here astra going to be I'll be able to get back through, then there's another nano swarm. This is just a dirty setup. Radsky again, just delaying them as much as humanly possible, trying to bait them in on the shots as they look to play together. Robbie's been dinked up made. though, and now this becomes a little bit shaky as Radsky has to try and clutch this out. Teammate watching on the other side, all he really needs to do is kill that last man and he will clutch it out. It's a 4K for Radsky, a 12th round for Beta by Kellogg's. It was about to be a huge play. Then he comes in. Catches that double, buys them the site, gets them the space they need. Even opens up an opportunity for John to lurk, although Evolva gets the better of him. And in the end, in that corner, Kellogg's actually going to go walk about straight into the crosshair. Oh, well, one for one trade, I guess, at this point. Not too bad. The flash, though, leaves both players blind. They peek in. And actually, again, it's just going to be a trade. Oh, my. This is starting to look very left. scary indeed. A three versus two, G2 on the back foot. Their map pick. It's starting to look like HDW are on the comfort ground, plan secured. They've got low HP on one player and it's John down below. He's had a tough game. You can almost feel a bullet coming for him to take him down. 
looks rough as well. I, I, again, you're almost looking at HTW at making mistakes if they let this one slip away. They're also going to get the information. John peeks out, but he's the low player. He can take that risk, give his teammates an opportunity to find the trade. And now Nuke is needed once again. Five bullets left in the clip. The turret even just tagging him up as he goes. Left onto a classic and he may hit himself the dig. But it is not going to happen. G Raise again. Like, this especially was the map where he was just an absolute monster. Harassing on this off angle, waiting for the flash to come through, and here it is. The little execute after, and that is great with Nukia caught completely out in the open by that. A good punishment by Devo, and now G2 left really clueless on where they can go. Yeah, this is... Well, they're basically pushing into a straight-up stack. Four players currently controlling that B site slash Evans, and... Oh, oh, the flash is just perfect. Kicks remaining. again, gone back Spike onto that sky for the second half in a row. Fantastic in the last. And well, like how proactive HCW have been. The problem now is that there's been an instant response paranoia. It's going to leave Moransky completely blind. Doesn't stand a chance with a wraparound from Kellogg's. And that is now the B site completely under the control of their own position. So, realistically, don't expect much from this one. From HTW, still playing this as a bonus. Any kills they can He's planted far enough back on site that they'll be fine. No need to get too much more impressive. Dogs are flash, great stuff. Because you know, in this situation, that all HTW want to do is exit. You devos made his way around here. That was pretty quick, but. Push in towards this side here, sees <laughs> Nuki pick up the opening, nade in hand, but they haven't spotted John. He's on the back side. Only good for the one. That's a shame, and they're not aware that Kellogg's is already up here, sneaking his way behind. It's all a distraction for Nuki as Kellogg's closes it out. Five rounds for them would be a pretty decent scoreline in the half. Kellogg's got to be careful. The timing almost goes against him here, but... Well, they end up going against him. I don't know if that was through smoke, but there's a nice shot from Devo nonetheless. I think we've just seen Hoodie actually save his teammate because Radsky was in a very good spot to actually find something there. And now they've managed to retrieve the rifle. There's a real chance they could do some damage. There absolutely is. It's going to be a really tough one to fight back in. So, no Devo! He got stunned up top, still takes down Meadow. Hoodie falls, and it comes to the 1v1. The nade is perfectly placed by Nukia. The bounce forces the player out. John now down below. Nukia's heard it, and he executes him for a third. G2. Now already in a very good spot, and they are just setting him up to get aggressive. Oh, Even with the stun, he's going to take the head off. But John's now come back with a judge. That's why he bought one in the last round. He is confident with this gun. How has he got away with this much? That was basically a single clip and four kills. Looking to try and get the ace here. The Astra wanting to try and close it out. And actually, Avova is going to escape. This turns things into a 1v2. And he fakes it out at the last second. They're running all the way back to B. This is brilliant from above. He's completely outplayed them. For him, they expect that he's in the elbow. The timing is perfect. Oh, he gets away with it. G2 just keep on stealing. Now, partly because of the wall that's gone down just to deny the push. Yeah, but yeah, not really wanting to get too aggressive, and that ultimate always almost way. ends up null and void. I tried to sneak their way through. Oh, look at John; he's caught, and they know exactly where Robbie is. The site should be theirs in the crossover. Devo does his best to hold on, but in the end, G2 end up getting the site. They get the res. Now the fight to Devo. What's uh -oh. huge? The double kill, leaving him with three here. Avova alone. But he's won these clutches before. Just about to have his ult online as well. That could help. But this Killjoy ultimate, the lockdown coming into play. He's starting to sneak his way in towards main. The barrel wasn't spotted. They don't yet know exactly where he is. Time now running out. Vova content to run this clock. Fight in towards main. They're a little bit disjointed. Devo wasn't able to help. Now he has to try and force this fight. Hoping Avova's still close. What a peak. Four kills for Devo. And the blast pack peak to close it out. I mean, Ratsky's still holding close. I don't know if that's a sign of a lack of confidence at this point. 
Not even a peek towards the site. Some of his teammates skirmishing. There's the utility going down. Dookie gets caught by it savagely. And now the kills start to go HDW's way. And it doesn't seem to stop. Kellogg's is caught up top. The dash doesn't even get him to safety. And Hoodie's only got 15 health left. Quickly dispatched. HDW over the A side and the plants is the reward for using that ultimate. G2 aren't happy though. They want to fight for it even more. Kellogg's unaware that Robbie's holding close. That is a huge risk. I just fighting all the way in towards the spawn. Sure, he didn't know, but I guess luckily he's got teammates like of over who could just bring things back for absolutely nothing. Hoodie's still within the site as well. The Rolling Thunder hasn't really connected onto him as he would have hoped, and it's all a bait. Will really have the impact. Tough round ahead, and already the dash coming out. Kicks has to give up this control. He's fighting as much as he can with his teammate. I love that! Using the smoke to his advantage, and they are punishing every little mistake G2 are making. Evolva left to clutch it again. This time, it's got to be too big of a task. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're close friends on there. Very close. Yeah, supposedly. Kicks, here we go. Let's get that ghost action. But the nade up behind trades it out. We're in even footing. Knowing there's a jet on site, Kellogg's wants to peek this... Wants to go on in. They were ready for him, but... It could be everything, though. Avova's going to use the paranoia, but it won't connect onto John from there. He's managed to avoid it. The spike still has to go Ten down, though. Left. This is going to be very close, but I think he's just about got it. Ooh, yes! Within, like, 0.5 of even. a second, he's going to get this down. That Leaving it nice and open. Last giving themselves the angles, but as you see... Uh-oh. Not really going to help in the end. Yeah, saving the wall for the retake for With, Or not the Rolling Thunder, sorry. The fault line. Looked up top and then went, wait a second, have they got it that early? Uh -oh. oh no! Oh, and a round that you force as well, getting hit up by that util, then running into a stacked side. Oh my heart. It's just broken. He's looking to re-aggress. The flash is perfect though. And actually it's gonna be New Kid who takes the brunt of it. And then kicks to already get a second onto the board of over has been spotted. Seek out. A B play it doesn't look to be a fake with them still pushing up on A. Oh, it's oh, it's for this to now turn back, but Ratsky, even while being pinged, is still able to give this away. Now they've tried to sell this as a ruse. But the players on the other side haven't Enemy rotated. Down. They've gone all in. Hoodie, waiting patiently, spike will double up and drop the spike. And more well, Devo will at least bring this back into an advantage. Hoodie is still here and waiting. And they ten have to cross. Left. There's only 10 Run seconds left. This remains. needs to be a kill. And Hoodie's going to get it as well. There's no time. It needs to be the trade out. And he's just going to run for the hills. He's won this round Who just was? based on the clock. Oh, he's even going to try and take him down in the end. They're bound to get one or two rounds. I think that one might already be coming. Or oh, Kellogg's is just waiting for it to fade away, waiting for someone to try and make a move. And this time, well, there's no whiffs to be had. These individual fights are only going in one direction. And Robbie, he's now going to try and pull off another one. He's caught Kellogg's in the open. Maybe Kellogg's That's expecting UK to be watching this angle. Well, he will return to form and make this a one versus four for John. No shotgun in his hands this time, but, well, the other gun is... Uh, a spec. There's no chance. UK, he's done a lot of damage there. And now we're going to see the Rolling Thunder through heaven, but it's actually caught absolutely no one. They're going to peek underneath the cage. UK winning that battle. Now, they should have a decent idea of where he is, and that's a free kill. At least giving them that 4v3, Mitch. No, he was blinded up for a moment, but he wouldn't be for too long. Devo does well. HDW not down and out just yet. A knife catching the backside of a player creeping on in. Down goes Kicks. Now I get a little bit worried. Uh -oh. Kellogg's delivers again and again. He's beside them and they don't have a clue. Devo left to do it all. This shorty will not get the better of him. The defuse is underway though. He's got to be quick. He's got to be fast and he'll get it done. Like the kill. Now there's no heals this time. So he's not going to be brought back. From that low HP, Kellogg's has dashed across, spotted that they've not managed to take that control just yet. And John has also been caught trying to push into the side, so they know exactly where he is. Radsky's making so much noise, that paranoia has come through. G2 letting their opponents know that... Oh no! 
Oh, he's looked away! For one we've ever seen. Gives okay. the information that he's crossed over to the site. They know exactly where he is. Hoodie opting to take that fight, and this time it's done. It took them a little longer than expected, but it will be the map going the way of G2 and the series. I have to say, though, HCW, impressed. Like, you performed to a high standard. You took the fight to G2, and you know what? Sure, they're the ones that go marching on, but that that is an impressive showing in the open qualifiers. Yeah, you know what? It, it most definitely was. I G2 letting their opponents know that... They oh, no! Robbie's looked away! They even knew he was close! They knew he had to be in main! As you've been seeing just a moment ago, somehow Avova sneaks away with that. He is on the back side right now. Team Radsky expects someone to be close. There's the star going down. They're going to clear it. They're going to check it. Avova! Well, if he had a rifle there, that would have been his, but... The Sheriff not showing up for him. 2v3. Good kill by Radsky, but was it worth it? Now John has to clutch it out alone. Again, another clutch to try and keep them in this map. He's going to use the smoke. Ooh, just about. Manages to escape around the corner. Meadow has to be careful here. I don't know if they'll expect him, but there is the neural theft. Might be the most impactful one we've ever seen. Gives okay. the information that he's crossed over to the site. They know exactly where he is. Hoodie opting to take that fight, and this time it's done. It took them a little longer than expected, but it will be the map going the way of G2 and the series.